All right, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you, there's a lot of great comments, so I'm going to go over these comments this morning and uh, start off with Nandy. Nandy says, read or listen to the book of Second Esdras, or 4 Ezra. Start chapter 5, learn what the conditions are of the Most High. Are you obedient? Learn what the Most High says. You'll, you will see why they took it out of the original canon. So, they... It does. It's not uh, said here, but it's suggested here. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems to me this person is suggesting that the conditions of the Most High to be saved are found in the fourth Ezra and not in the Bible. That's what it looks like to me, because it's in reference to the beheaded video, which is um, I. I uh, rebuke, if you will, this idea that you have to be beheaded to be saved. And I, I completely rebuke the idea that there's a thousand year reign of Jesus Christ. Jesus doesn't reign for a thousand years and then stop reigning. He reigns forever. We see that in Luke chapter 1 verse 33. All right, so uh, I'm not sure exactly what you're trying to say, and I, you know, I just whatever you believe, just be honest. You know, right or wrong, just be honest with what you believe. If you believe uh, the conditions to be saved aren't found in the Bible and they're found in these uninspired books, then just just say it. And then, if you would, just you know, be honest and say what you think you have to do to be saved. Because if you think you have to do something to be saved, then what Jesus did doesn't matter, right? You're just, you're making him of no effect. And and a lot of people are doing that. You're not alone, but you're also not right. All right, so it's not about what you do. It's about what he has done for us. And all we have to do is believe, right? Believe in the finished works of Jesus Christ. Now, here in the bottom, you say, uh, you will see why they took it out of original canon. Again, you're suggesting that man controls the Bible and not God. And it's true that many corrupt the Word of God, but we find the perfect Word of God in the King James Bible. That Bible comes from God, and that Bible is from God to you. All right, now, there are many corrupt Bible versions, no question about it, but um, we do have a perfect Bible in the King James Bible, and God is in control of it all. And so I don't want you to fall for these snares and get deceived into these uh, other extra, what they call extra biblical books, books outside of the Bible, you won't find the truth outside of the Bible. You'll find the truth in the Bible. For faith come by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So the Word of God is the Bible. And if you don't believe in any Bible at all, how can you say you believe in the Word of God? And of course, Jesus is the Word of God. Jesus is the Word of God in heaven. The Bible is the Word of God on earth. And man cannot live on bread alone, but by every Word of God. So... Um, if you got any follow-ups on this, I, I would just, you know, again, one more time, just be honest. If you believe there's uh, a certain thing you have to do to be saved, just be honest and, and, uh, tell me what that is. I would like to know. I, I, I know. I mean, I already know it's, we are saved by grace through faith and not of ourselves. It is the gift of God. So moving on. All right. So Roop. Oops, hold on a second. Roop says, why does the Bible say sons of God? And then says God only had one son. Yahweh in the Old Testament says his name is jealous, but Jesus says God is love and love is not jealous. Okay, so let's confirm what he's saying. First of all, son, he said God only had one son. Is that in the Bible? Let's see here. I think it's... John 3, 16. 
Does that sound right? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now, where are you getting this idea that God only had one Son? Hmm. Well, let's see what the ESV is. The ESV is very popular, right? For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son. That's where he's getting it from. Again, somebody relying on a corrupt Bible to get their doctrine, and they're now they're all all kinds of confused, and they don't know what's going on. And that's see, I I had that same struggle, you know, for almost ten years uh, after I was saved, after I was born of the Spirit of God. I I read all different kinds of Bible versions, and I struggled. I couldn't understand because I had the opinion that there was this perfect Bible in another language that all Bibles were translated from. And I come to find out that, no, that's not the case at all. Somebody lied to me. There's not a perfect Bible in a foreign language. We have the perfect Bible in the King James Bible. All right. So let's, let's uh, examine this a little bit. So, uh, you know, for one thing, like in John 1, all right, so... Uh, if there was any doubts, uh, is, does God only have one son? Uh, he says, uh, gave them power. for But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. So we that believe in his name, in the name of Jesus, are the sons of God. Now he, the difference is, in John three sixteen, it says, God gave his only begotten son. All right, so um, that's the difference. So Jesus was born of the Virgin Mary, and he had no earthly father. All right, and then this last part here, let's just cover. For one, okay, so Yahweh, that's, I don't know, I don't know if I should really, that's not in the Bible anywhere. So this kind of drives me nuts a little bit. So Yahweh is not even in there. All right, so Yahweh is a sort of a translation, transliteration from the original Hebrew, Y-H-W-H. And so they added the E's to make it an English-sounding word. So it's sort of a conversion from a, an old dead language. And um, it's... Uh, so the assumption is that the old Hebrew is the Jewish language. All right, and I'm getting into this. So people are putting their trust in the old, in the Jews, the, not the Jews from the Old Testament, but modern day Jews who reject Jesus Christ. So people who call themselves Christians are looking, are putting their trust in modern day Judaism and to get their words from people that reject Jesus Christ and getting their information from them trusting what they say. That's a basically what it is. And we are warned over and over to not trust these guys, to watch out for, beware of dogs, beware of the concision. All right. And it even says that these modern day Judaisms are contrary to all men. All right. But people are going to trust what they say. Oh, Yahweh is the real name. Okay. Well, all right. never mind the fact that you completely reject Jesus Christ, I'll take your word for it. Why would you do that? You don't trust even the God speaking English? You're going to trust, but you're going to trust these guys that reject Jesus Christ. Okay. So anyway, and I'm probably running out of time. So, uh, boy, this that kind of burns me up because what you're saying is I don't trust any Bible on earth. So, is his name jealous here? That's not going to work, is it? All right, so whose name is jealous and is a jealous God? So I'm not going to be able to get into the other part of this. So we'll just, I'll continue in the next video.